the top delicacies Sipaway Island can offer. Join me guys and let's go! What's up? What's good? Good morning! And today we're going to have the Chef Good Boys Food Review Challenge. And I'm in my hometown, San Carlos City, Negros Occidental. So we're reviewing two of the famous delicacies that Sipaway Island can offer. First, we have Salvaro or our native bread with two variations one plain Salvaro bread, the other one has filling candied coconut, young coconut, and it's very, very delicious. The other one that we will review is the drum rolls, please. The infamous Bokayo of Sipaway Island. So what are we waiting for? Let's chow. All right, let's start with Bokayo. So Bokayo, guys, is made of young coconut, very young coconut. Not the young coconut that's gelatinous-ish, but this is the kind of young coconut which is just about the right age to be uh, included in your buko salad, um, the ones that you um, eat in your cocoa bread, those kind, all right? But this is just purely candied. There's milk, there's sugar, lots of it, and then the young coconut, and then it is just really perfected by just mixing it up until it gets blended with the ingredients. And of course, they have to reduce the liquid because we all know coconut would have a lot of liquid as well once heated up plus sugar, plus um, milk. So once the liquid is reduced, they're gonna put it in uh, banana leaf. So let's taste this already. Just like eating pasta. Very sweet. sweet. You can really taste that they use brown sugar. Just enough tenderness of the young coconut. It's not too chewy. It's not too gelatinous as well. Just about right. This is really perfect for parties or if you really wanted to have desserts in the evening. Now let's taste the Salvaro de Sipawe. So Salvaro de Sipawe basically is a bread, a native bread, but it has a distinct taste because of the ingredients that um, is included in the bread. First you get flour, you mix it up with a little bit of water, salt, yeast, um, you have also coconut milk and then one interesting ingredient that I learned yesterday mix it up with uh, coconut wine or jungle wine to just kick up a little bit of acid within the concoction of batter before they would put it in the oven and of course they will use the native oven so in the Philippines there are a lot of innovations when it comes to how to bake their delicacies. One of which is when we talk about the oven, we're not talking about the oven that we uh, buy in the mall, but they create their own kind of oven-ish uh, cooker. Let's split it up in two. Okay, we don't have anything here. Let me taste this. It's like you're eat, eating bread, but there's like a push at the back of your of your throat once the buttery, milky flavor dissolves. It gives you that after taste of eating cotton candy. Yeah, th that's what I can always compare it with. Uh, slice it in half. Ooh, you see that? There's a candied coconut filling. 
There you go. So, Salvaro, this Ipawai is one of the best native bread that I've tasted. Hmm. An explosion of flavor in your mouth. I like eating any other bread that is bored. Sometimes it's just like bordering stale flavor. Very, very gooey. And the other bread as well, very dry, air stretchy kind of flavor. But this bread gives that right amount of sweetness, right amount of coconut milk digesting into your or, or mixing up in your mouth and, and pushing it in your in your at the back of your throat, saying it's like the after effect when you're eating cheddar cheese. I, I, I could really could not compare this to anything but the melted cheddar cheese consistency, that kind of flavor, which gives you the aha moments of yeah I'm you know you're forgetting you're eating bread but then again it almost tastes like cheese cheddar melted cheese all right I'm gonna give this as well a perfect 10 three claps for perfect 10 all right so we're done reviewing and providing our honest feedback to Two of the most famous um, native delicacies in San Carlos City, specific to Sipaway Island. I hope you enjoyed today's video, guys, as Chef Good Boy, yes, that's me, provides the comment, unbiased and honest comments for our two or top two of the native delicacies of Sipaway Island. And for any suggestions, online challenges, you can leave a comment below or you can email me for just about anything that you want to suggest. All right, and this has been your boy, J-Man Good Boy, and as always, keep it simple.